AutoCAD 2026 isn't just an update. It's a speed boost, a productivity hack, and a glimpse into AI-driven design. So today I'll walk you through four game-changing features plus one bonus surprise that just transformed the way I use AutoCAD forever. Let's start with the first feature, which is blazingly fast performance. So AutoCAD 2026 is a lot faster with its predecessors. And if you launch AutoCAD now, you can clearly see the massive difference in the launch times. Also, when you launch larger drawings, it now loads up very fast. That means less time staring at the loading screen and more time actually designing. And if you work with massive DWG files or constantly juggling multiple projects, this isn't just convenient, it's a lifesaver. Now the next one is activity insights with what's changed feature. So if you collaborate a lot, now you can collaborate in a smarter way. This activity insights palette now shows you exactly what changed in a file, who modified what and how much the file size was affected because of these changes. For teams, this is a game changer. No more confusion over which version is the latest or endless who changed this kind of emails. Here is a demo. So, if you now go to view and activity insights, it will show you whatever changes the drawing has been through. For example, in this drawing, we have made some changes through all these dates. And you can go back to a certain date and you can also select the instance for example here i'll select this instance and here this file was saved by this person the alias that's me and if someone else has worked on it their alias will show up as well as the name and you can also see the changes that was made so very few changes but if i go to this one here you can see the changes two more block references were added one static block reference was added one layer dimension and these are the workflows. Also, the file size increased by this much. So you can track the changes made in your drawing for any point of time. Now, the next feature is markup import and markup assist. Now, this is all about the feedback loops. You can now import PDFs or even images with markups. AutoCAD automatically detects edits like revision cloud, text notes or strike throughs and applies them directly. Now you can also import it from Autodesk Docs. So the cloud solution where you save your all documents. So imagine your manager or client marks up something on your finished drawing. He just makes several doodles. He just marks different clouds. He just adds some notes and then he scans it, sends it to you and you bring it inside AutoCAD and AutoCAD will automatically change that entire information into text, revision cloud, or you can even delete objects from your drawing using that information. So that's hours saved in review cycles. Here is a demo. Now to understand this, I'm going to go to this collaborate tab and I'll select this markup import. Now you can import markups that you've drawn with hand and you can import it in PDF or any image format. In this case, I've created some markups for this drawing. So I'll select this scan to drawing and open. And that's going to import the markup here in the form of a trace. Now trace is kind of like a layer on top of your existing drawing and it's showing all the markups that I've added there. But of course, we don't want it in the trace format. So I'll just go to drawing and here AutoCAD will not only show the markup, but also you can import them directly so right now it is detecting those markups so as long as it is detecting it's going to show this load icon and once detection is done it will change to this gray lightning symbol now click on it and it will use autodesk ai to detect all the markups that have added by the way these markups are added by hand now this is nothing new here because it was available in the previous versions but what's new is now the ability to import markups directly from Autodesk Docs. But before I show that, let me show you how you can just add these markups directly in your drawing. So this is a markup added by me just by writing the text using hand. So I'll just select this boundary and here it will show you the options. You can insert it as multi-leader or simple M text. Let's just add it as an M text, place the location and it's added. Let's do the same for here. So I'll just select this one here, actually not here, but here, the boundary. 
and it's going to show you what it is. So it's a revision cloud. So which kind of revision cloud you want, rectangular or polygonal? I want a rectangular one, so it added that. Not only that, you can also import more markups. For example, here you can just click and maybe this time let's add it as a multi-leader. So I'm going to add it as a multi-leader. I'll just click this one as the first point, this as the second point, and this is added. Now it looks like the multi-leader size is really big, which we can change. So I'll go to annotation, I'll go to multi-leader, modify, and in the leader structure, let's just make it smaller, maybe something like 0 0.1 and okay. So there it is. So the markup is now added. In a similar way, you can import all the other markups. Using markups, you can also delete objects if you want. And once you are done making all those changes, you can simply close it from here and the markups will stay in your drawing. Now doing the same from Autodesk Docs is again very easy and that's the new thing here in AutoCAD 2026. So here I have this Autodesk Docs. You can go to acc.autodesk.com and I have this scan to file the same file that we used in the drawing now I'm going to open it here and now if you want to add maybe more markups you can directly add it here as well so as you can see these are all the markups that I've added let me just rotate this drawing just to change its orientation properly and I've added these markups using the markup assist tool right here so here you can add more markups if you want and you can push these markups directly to AutoCAD and pushing it is very simple. Just go to the three dot here and then select sync markups to AutoCAD. When you do that, it will prompt you to just select the members and it will only show the members that are added to your current workspace. In this case, it's just me. So I'll just select that. And if you want to add comments, you can do that. After adding the comments, just click on send. Now this will send an email. And when you open the email, it will simply show a link click the link and the same markup will open exactly the way it did. Now the next feature, which is also my favorite feature in AutoCAD 2026 is smart blocks, which is enhanced by AI. When talking about automation, this feature clearly stands out. This new smart block feature uses AI to detect and group similar objects. Let's say you have dozen of door symbols scattered across a drawing and AutoCAD will simply identify it all just with a click of a button and turns them into a single block definition. You can even batch define them with the updated B search tool. So less cleanup, fewer mistakes and a way more consistency in your drawing. Here's a demo of this feature. So on the insert tab, if you go to this drop down, you're going to see two options, detect and convert and search and convert. Now let me start with search and convert. Essentially, if you look at this drawing, I've got all of these chairs, which are not actually blocks. These are just line objects, line arc and other things. And I want to convert all of these references from the entire drawing into a block. And that's where we can use search and convert. So just search for the object by making a selection box around it. There it is. And press enter. Now, this will show all the references of it. So it's not only here, but in all the different places highlighted in green. And there are actually 71 instances of this. Now click on convert and we have this dialog box. Now here you can use two options. You can either use an existing block and then assign it to any existing block. And here you can see that this was actually a block which was exploded. But if you want to just assign it to the same block, you can select and it will essentially now give it the same name as this block. But I don't want it. I want to create a new block. So I'll go to new block and I'll give it a name. So I'll call it cushion chair. All right. Now, if you want, you can click on this checkbox, which is already clicked to just select the geometric center as the base point, or you can click here and select the base point. So here I know that this is my main block. So I'll just select it and maybe I'll just select this point as the base point and the coordinates are added. Next thing is layer. So you can select the layer. And in this case, I think I'll just assign it to furniture layer and then click on convert. When you do that, AutoCAD will automatically convert all the references into a block. So if I now go to this one, it's on the furniture layer because it's green. Now you can clearly see it and all the references that were similar are now converted into a block. So you don't need to manually do it. And the same thing is applicable if you are using a block. For example, let's say we have this door block and you want to now change it to something else. You can do that using the same method. It's not necessary that you should just select simple line objects. Of course, you can select blocks. Now, let me show you another example. So here we have some columns, but these columns are actually simple objects. 
they are not blocks and there are also several other objects in this drawing that are repeated for example these stairs that could have been a block because they are used in several different places so you can let autodesk ai decide which one is repeated and which one can be converted into a block so for that i'll go to the drop down again and this time i'll select detect and convert now this one is a feature which is constantly improving so that's what this dialog box is about and now it's detecting your entire drawing so give it a moment and the detection is done now it identified all of these objects that are repeating and that can be converted into a block for example we have got 163 instances of this 162 of this and so on but i'm interested in this one it has 28 instances and that's a column which we want to convert into a block so select it click on this three dot icon and select convert to block and once again it will highlight all the areas where we have that and not only that it will once again open convert to block dialog box here also you can use an existing block or you can just select new block and give it a name so let's just name it column and again you can use geometric center or assign a base point also i want to change its layer so i'll just scroll down and i'll select e dash s dash column and then click on convert and we are done. So all of those instances are now converted into block and these are all blocks with geometric center as the base point. Now, if you want to convert more of these blocks, once again, you can repeat the process from here. And if you are done, you can just close it. And we have all of these blocks here in our drawing. So that's how quickly and efficiently you can use smart blocks now, which is powered with this AI feature. And now let's talk about our bonus feature, which is layer option for center line and center mark tool. So now if you are adding a center line or a center mark in your drawing, you can directly assign a layer to it and AutoCAD will automatically put center line and center mark on its proper layer. No more changing the layers later. Here is a demo as well. If you go to annotate tab and center mark center line panel, you'll now see this extra option of layers. Essentially, you can select a layer that you want to assign. For example, here I'll select CL-CM layer. And now if I go to center mark and click on a circle, it's going to just put this thing directly on that CL-CM layer. If you also add a center line, it's going to do the same for that center line. Of course, in this case, this doesn't look like center line because of the scale. So you can go to property, line type scale, and just change it to something that looks like a center line. Here also, we can make the changes very quickly. So just go to this one, line type scale, and let's just make it 0 0.1, or maybe 0 0.05 should be good. Yeah, that's really looking good, and there it is. So that's the bonus feature. So these are the four standout features and one bonus feature that really makes AutoCAD 2026 a must try. Get the free trial of AutoCAD using link in the description. So try it now and see the difference. And if you want more breakdowns of AutoCAD's latest features, don't forget to hit the subscribe and let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.